Anyway, these are made, like I said, the later stages of crossbreeding. Um, Aurelia is, you're most likely to get it with two Feru plants. Um, and Feru, you're most likely to get from two Terrawort uh, plants, which was the blue ones in the middle here. They look like um, another one, the first growth stage but after that they do turn blue and you will be able to recognize them but two of those to make feru and then two feru to make aurelia for crossbreeding these are just recommended they're not sometimes you're lucky and it's just random okay so two step two stick creed for terrawort and two terrawort for feru two feru for aurelia and two aurelia for coffee but there are some other other recommended ones and i'll link the wiki page so you can you guys can take a look for yourselves oh as you can see here we planted two things i cannot remember what they were here and a new plant has grown in the middle right so that's cross breeding right once you destroy a plant if you want some extra room or it's uh you want a better plant to grow there I see that creeper over there. And I'll be creeping towards me. Okay. So, um, the very first plants you're going to want to destroy with a hoe. So you get a chance of dropping a seed bag. Which is what we got then. This is a seed bag. That wasn't a good example because it's already identified. Let's try again. Melons will drop melon slices and okay, and uh, melon seeds and slices of melon and whole melons, which is um, which is good. Okay, you will get unknown seeds. To identify seeds, you need a crop analyzer. Now you, you get this with I think it is three I don't know why that's maybe it isn't I always thought it was three along the top obviously not okay you get it with two copper cables four redstone a piece of glass and an electronic circuit um, I don't know why it rains purple snowflakes like an enderman is nearby when I record but it does okay so what you need to do is have um, an energy source or a battery or, or as I use energy crystals to power your crop analyzer. You take your unknown seeds and you put them in the left hand side here and the first time it tells you what plant it is. The second time it tells you the tier and who it was discovered by. The third time you put it in it tells you it's a description of it basically so it's green you use it as an ingredient and it looks like wheat. And the fourth time you put it in, you get statistics. Um, these are not good statistics. Um, the more they're crossbred and the second or third plants of them, they you will get higher statistics on them. Now I'll just give you a quick run by of the statistic of what all these things mean. Okay, so growth. So basically, all these three things: growth, gain, and resist have a pros and have cons to them. Okay, so the the pros of growth is um, how quickly they grow. So the higher the number, the quicker they will grow. And the con is that ones with a very high growth number, I think it has to be really high as well, um, are more likely to spread weeds nearby them. And then again, if you've got the crop metron, should not be an issue. Okay, the next one is gain. The pro to it is more drops when you harvest. So when you right click it or destroy it, you'll get more from the plant with a higher um, gain number. The con is that you'll you get a less, um, you get a reduced chance of getting a seed bag. Okay, the resist one, which I think is the main, um, the main one that you want, the highest number in resist, I would say, because um, it's got quite a lot of pros compared to one little rubbish con, I think. So the, the pros are, uh, it's less easy to trample, so it's a bit more hardy, um, less weeds growing, and you get more seed bags from the drops. 
and another con is that it's slow at crossbreeding but that doesn't matter if you've got a bunch of things going at once it doesn't matter that it's slower really i think i think you want to get a really high number and resist okay what i've got is you will get a lot of seeds so the setup i've got um at alchemy bags obviously because then in a chest you'll be able to fit a lot of stuff and I've colour coordinated them, so in the black bag I've got my black thorn and dandelions in here and roses in here and tulips and venomilia in this one. And as you can see I've got my ferru and my aurelia in this one. These are all got different uh, stats on them and you, get, you can be able to put a lot of seeds into a, a relatively small area. Okay, that was my description and how to identify seeds. I hope that helps when you uh, when you get seed bags and you're not too sure. Again, you just when, once you've got a seed bag, I'll show you here. It's my hops, wasn't it? You just um, right click to plant as you would um, with just regular seeds, and then we can put the crops in the middle again and hopefully we get the crossbreeds from the other in the middle there oh so this was pumpkins here this was the reeds so we're still unsure what we're going to get in the middle there but hopefully it'll be something good i was hoping some weeds are great but they haven't okay so i hope this has helped you a bit in in how to crossbreed and and the special conditions that some some plants need. In uh, my next tutorial, I shall be showing you how to brew rum and beer and how to make coffee. So I hope this helped, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.